Hey guys, this is Mark from PixelFiendTech.com and today I'm going to be showing you my favourite beginner Photoshop tools. Okay, now to be honest in this video, I would just like to point out at the start both these are free, so that is brilliant. So I'm not going to be covering any of the big paid ones, just to let you know, don't Put in the comments saying, oh, Adobe is better because it is a lot more expensive. I am only covering free photoshops in this video. Just because for beginners, these things really are perfect. And I really learned how to use Photoshop just using these two programs. So first of all, I am going to be looking at GIMP 2.0. Now, it does look a bit funny. That's just due to the recording software. I honestly don't know why it does that. But um, this is GIMP, so you can see here at the top, if I just go File, New, I can create a new picture, and then I have all these tools down at the side. Now granted, this may not be quite as good and may not have quite as many features as um, things like Adobe Photoshop, though this really is extremely good for free, and I'm certainly very happy with it. It is a very powerful system with a lot of great tools. So you can see here, if I just grab a pencil tool, I can start drawing lines. And for example, if I wanted to do a nice looking gradient background, I could do that. Um, you can uh, open new layers, which is a must for a video editing tool, uh, sorry I keep saying video editing, photo editing tool or graphic design tool. I just, I don't know how you do it without different layers. It would certainly be very hard. So um, you can also do things like select the color so you can cut out the background. If you go into filters, you can see all these different effects that you can put on. And to be honest, most of the graphic design work I've done, you can check that out on my website. Um, a lot of it was done using this software and it really is brilliant. So to be honest, if you're looking for a graphic design software and you're just a beginner, I would certainly recommend GIMP, that's G-I-M-P 2.0. Okay, so next up is Paint.net. Now this is, I would say, slightly more, you could say, amateurish. Um, to be honest, I still really like it. It's a good software. It's definitely better than Microsoft Paint. And again, it is free, so I would again try this, though it certainly does not have as many features as GIMP. So here you can see, again, you can easily add more layers. Um, again, I can do a gradient as the background. You have this nice little color wheel here, so if I wanted to change the primary color to pink, you can see what that does, or yellow, blue. Um, I could do a bucket fill and just change the whole thing to blue. Um, I could, uh, so if I grab the pencil tool, you can't see that very well because it is obviously in the same color. If I select this, then you can see that there. So, yep, um, again, it just really doesn't have enough uh, features to be quite as good as GIMP, though for free I would certainly recommend it. If you go into effects you can see the list simply isn't as big though it does have a lot of um, decent things that is certainly really good for um, just beginner photo editing. Um, you can see here if I go into rotate and zoom it has this really nice almost 3D feature how you can kind of spin things like this though you can't really work with this um, in 3D because when you tilt it away you can't draw on that layer again so I suppose you could have multiple layers and build 3D things through that but it just really wouldn't work very well so this is more for a kind of free drawing I would say for example here I just drew this with a pencil now what GIMP I would say is better for is uh, it's still good for free drawing. I would say it's probably better for shapes. See yeah, how you can draw a square and then you can uh, resize it, things like that. Mm, so, for example, if I took my bucket tool, put that in black, and then I could grab this selection tool and I could put some points here, and then I could cut it out. So, for example, if I 
wanted to make a shape that looked like this. I'm really going to hope that this actually works. Um, if I hopefully do select from path, you can see there it selects that. And then if I go over to invert, then you can see I can cut it out into that shape. And as I say, it's better possibly for work. Uh, it's better than Paint.net for working with things like that. Though it is still brilliant for drawing and other things. So. First of all, I would definitely recommend GIMP for any beginners, people who are new to the graphic design game. To be honest, people who are used to it, I would still recommend GIMP because it does so much for free system. Yes, it may not be as good as some of the paid ones, but for free, you really cannot argue. Paint.net is also a good option, though I would recommend GIMP over it. Paint.net is probably better for beginners as GIMP is slightly harder to jump straight into. Though simply check out my videos on YouTube and also just search for GIMP tutorials and it's really easy to learn how to use this. If this video helped you please give it a like, a share and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you have any questions just leave a comment or email me at the link down in the description. Thank you very much for watching, see you.